What's going on everybody? Welcome to G Miles World. And today what we're going to be talking about is the elimination of contracts in Madden 19 and how that's going to affect everything that you're going to be doing as far as building your team, getting yourself ready for month millionaire status, etc, etc. Shout out to all, like we got to, uh, I think I've uh, probably got over 200 month millionaires this year. That's a really huge accomplishment, man. Uh, for me personally, because like I said, uh, putting the information out there to help you guys guide you through the solos, the cards and everything like that. It's not easy to do it in such an, you know, such a fast way of getting it out when it's like, you know, timely enough for you to be able to get it done and understand it. But like I said, I appreciate the fact that you guys value the feedback, whether we, you know, we argue about certain things overall, we all want the same thing. So whether you disagree or you agree or you can help it out, it always works out as long as you're not being, you know, disrespectful and not trying to take away from the overall thing of what we're doing. Um, you know, all your comments and everything are welcome. I just ask that you guys are respectable. You guys talk to each other like gentlemen. And we try to figure out the easiest ways to become millionaires. Because what happens is, for those people that were able to do the things that I suggested, they were able to enjoy the game a lot a lot more. Because you didn't have to worry about a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you wanted a card, you were already at that status. So you always were about a certain amount of cards, uh, you know, up. So if you needed to go and upgrade, you were always able to do that. That's the name of the game. Okay? So what we're going to talk about right now is this, right? First off, I'm going to talk to you about these vouchers all the way at the end because when you first log into Madden 19, you're going to be able to get a lot of different things. Mutt loyalty is a huge part of what goes on in Madden. Um, so with those weekly replays where you get a loyalty voucher out of everything that comes with it, this is a huge thing right here, okay? Contracts not being involved, that is very, very huge because now EA has to focus on other things, which means more for us if we play it smart. Follow me right here. Contracts being eliminated. When, when the game first comes out, contracts are ridiculous, okay? It affects everything you're doing because when you're trying to grind for stuff like Mutt Master, whatever you're doing, whatever they're going to have with the sets, it kills your pockets because you always get that screen. Contracts this, contracts that. And then you, remember, you're starting off from the bottom. You don't really have a lot of coins. So it's like, yo, what, what, what's going on here, bro? It's always been annoying. I don't even know if you, a lot of you guys are were around when Mutt first came out when they had like the injuries and all that stuff. And then you have to get injury contract, you know, injury um, contracts to get your guy from being injured. It was so stupid and tedious. So this being removed is actually a very, very good look. And it's going to save us a lot of coins, which we're going to be able to put into other things to make us become mutt millionaires a lot faster. Let me explain to you, right? So look, the tickets are going to still be there because people are going to qualify for the competitive league, whatever like that. If you guys are into that, that's fine. I don't really care about all that stuff. These are the packs that I'm talking about, right? The silver packs, the gold packs, the elite packs. Now you can see, I completed these once I logged into Madden, Madden 18. And this, I just, bro, immediately, I, I, yo, let me get my stuff. I need some elite cards, whatever. Let's get it. I need some. I need an elite defensive player, elite offensive player. Let's get it. That's what I did immediately, okay? Because I wanted to get the best team out on the field. I wanted to be ready to go. That it, it is what it is. Now they only give you one chance to get it, right? Because these are not repeatable. These are repeatable because they're gold. The elites are not. So I don't know if they're going to keep it that way or they're going to change it, but more than likely they won't. They're going to give you a nat version of an elite card just to get you started. It's going to be a one-time only thing, right? Now, with the contracts being eliminated and you don't have to spend money on contracts, there's going to be, you know, this repeatable things. They're going to always have repeatable. Now, remember, a lot of us have more pack luck than others. So depending on how your pack luck is, I don't know if you think, yo, bro, it's a new year. EA's not going to do me dry. You can do it. Bro, think whatever you want. The bottom line is this, though. We have to be realistic on what we're going to be doing with the coins because, again, depending on how you utilize these vouchers, it, it, it can really, like, set you back. You know what I'm saying? So just be very, very careful. Remember, we have to understand the way the game plays before we start making these things. So regardless of the way the game plays, you always go with the elite uh, pack, right? But when you get the pack, the player that you get, you have to be able to understand. Look, remember, it's not auctionable, non-tradable. So... It's a one-time deal. Get it. Regardless of what you get here, you keep that player for the entire time unless you have to put it into a set to get something else better, which I wouldn't suggest early in the year. But when it comes to the gold player packs, this is where you could get kind of flexible because early in the year now, um, you see like how these are not auctionable or tradable? They're bringing back the tokens and stuff like that. So they're going to probably have things where you have to use these players to get playbooks, right? Now, earlier in the year when the game first comes out, 
playbooks were so expensive. It was ridiculous and stupid, right? We're going to use this, our loyalty vouchers, to get some of these packs, okay? It's going to give us five random 73, whatever it, whatever it gives us. We're going to use these packs to complete the sets to get, you know, it's probably going to be silver token sets or gold, or gold, whatever it is. And we're going to use it to not spend money on getting our playbook because they're going to charge us for the playbook. EA is not just, they're probably going to give us one free one like they did before by playing the solo. But obviously we know we're going to experiment within the first month of, you know, playing the game and figure out what playbook we want. But not only that. If we wanted to make a quick coin come up, we could actually do it this way and then actually sell the playbooks. Because a lot of people that get into Madden and every year there's millions of new users, they don't know these things. They just go to the auction house like, yeah, I got to buy a playbook. They don't know that there's ways to do this. And they also didn't have the vouchers that we have to utilize it like this. So that's going to, the, the, the playbooks are probably going to be about, you know, 10K and up usually. Lat, uh, some of the playbooks... At launch last year, were like 15k, 20k, and then obviously people started to figure out that they could do it by getting, um, you know, certain players. But what happens is the individual players that do the tokens, that like when you make the token set, right? It's it, it was more reasonable to just buy the buy it from the auction house than to get the individual players. Because remember, with a t with a silver token right now, it takes 12. I don't know what EA is gonna do next year, but this is what was happening. It would, it would be around the same price based on what people were charging because obviously it's early in the year, so they're going to make it a little bit more expensive. That, that's just what they're going to do. You see what I'm saying? So when, we, when we're able to get things like that from using our vouchers and stuff like that, it makes it very, very easy for us. And not having to pay for contracts is going to make us so... It's going to be it's gonna make the game a lot more efficient because just to give you an example, when you go over here and you start looking at the items... And you see this, like 100 contracts was 2,000 coins. Um, you know, 2,500 contracts was 50,000 coins. A lot of people look at that like, yo, bro, right now, that's not a lot, whatever. Imagine when you're starting and it's like a grind to get any coins. And you're spending coins like that. And remember, it's per player. So you're running out of contracts like every single time. It's a lot of, it, yo, just trust me when I tell you. It's a lot of coin that takes away from getting other things that you want. So that's why I'm telling you right now in preparation for it to understand that this is a big deal for us that are going to be grinding. Now, if you're just going to be buying packs and doing whatever you want, it might not matter to you. Because remember, when you buy packs, you know, in the past, they would give you contracts. But most of my team, like the dudes that I'm rolling with, all my grinders, we weren't buying packs like that. We were grinding solos and getting our stuff like that. So it was harder for us because every time that we would finish the game or a solo, we had to buy contracts. So we're losing coins as we're playing. You see what I'm saying? That's, that's done now. Now you get a card, it's just your card. That's it. We're done. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing else coming after that. So now everything that we were using our coins for before, we change up. Now we're doing other things. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. What's going to happen is the, the, the reasoning behind why I'm explaining it is that you're going to ask next, what am I supposed to do now that I have this extra coin that I'm not spending on contracts? And that's a great question. We're going to use our coins to complete certain sets earlier in the game. Now, obviously, this is like a full year of all of the things that EA has given us, right? So it's going to be a lot of stuff going on in here. We're going to find different ways to put our coins into certain sets that are available to get us more value for our squad. Like I said, the loyalty vouchers are key. So if you haven't been completing your weekly loyalty vouchers, this right here that doesn't apply to you, you're going to have to take a step back once Madden 19 starts because whether you found my channel late, what's, whatever's going on with it, you're not going to be able to have as many loyalty vouchers as most of my viewers that have been around for the entire year. So you're not going to be there, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be left out because if you join now, you're still going to understand when I give these tips out what's going to be happening going forward. So you're going to be geared up to know that we're going to be doing things like making team tokens with, from the, uh, the gold cards that we make, whatever the value is. Because what EA is going to do is this, right? The power-up players are going to still be there, but keep in mind, you can also downgrade players now. So with the upgrades, if you guys go to upgrade players, until a player is 100%, you can take away from it. So if you complete any of these, like whatever, and you want to go back and get your cards back, you can get your cards back in a portion of what you put into it and put the cards back on the auction house. So that's also going to be huge. So this guy, like a core elite that you had to pay whatever amount for when the game first comes out, because they're very expensive, these core elites, when the game first come out, you can give it back. 
and get you know put them back on the auction house, sell them, get your coins back, whatever like that, and then move forward. But remember, these tokens goes towards it. So people that are trying to power up to start, they're gonna need tokens. A lot of these guys that buy packs and all that stuff like that, they're just gonna buy the tokens. But we're gonna be the ones making them. And it's going to be early in the year. So we're going to be getting them off. We're not trying to, you know, make our players powered up. We're not doing that. That's not what we're doing to start the year. We're making coins to start the year. So we're going to use those vouchers to get those players to make tokens. Because people are going to need playbooks. You see what I'm saying? People are going to need to make playbooks. They're going to need silver tokens. They're going to need these different things. And we're going to have them. While everybody else is just buying, we're going to be making them and selling them. So this is what I'm saying. Those 2,000 coins for 100 contracts, we could use that to either buy more gold players after we're done with our vouchers, or we could buy other, other different type of players that go into sets that make us something that we can sell. You see what I'm saying? Like, we don't know. Now that we can um, play offline with Mutt Squads with a friend and play the computer, they might do stuff that if they bring out John Madden, John Madden coach again. Because, like, you see, like, how you need 32 of the coaches, right, to make this? And to make, 30, to, to make the 32 coaches, you would need 25 silver squad tokens for one tier three coach. Or you could go through all this stuff and do it this way with making elite coaches and all kind of, uh, you know, all the other crap that's going on, right? You, if you could play offline and do different things to make these tokens, people are going to need, um, you know, other version, other ways to make this coach. If they don't do, if they don't do squads, right? They're going to need to do it the other way. They're going to have to upgrade their coaches. You see what I'm saying? People, a lot of people didn't know about just playing mutt squads and doing it that way. So if you want to upgrade a coach, guess what you need? Tokens. So guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be making tokens. We're going to be using every, every cent of what we would be spending on contracts is going to be going towards making tokens to start the year. Because that's how a lot of us are going to make our come up. Then once we're like, you know, 500K, 600K, we're sitting on all that. Remember, once you get a card, there's no contract. So we just have the card. All right, so we're going to be sitting on 600K, still grinding solos, getting more cards. What are we going to be doing with those cards? Making more tokens. But now it's not that pop-up screen that's annoying that tells us, yo, bro, we're going to need some contracts. And when you sell something, we're going to need 10%. We don't need all that from EA, bro. We ain't coming for all that. You see what I'm saying? So that's what the situation is. Not having contracts is going to be huge for all of us. And I promise you that I will be there to help you and guide you through to make sure that you get the most out of everything and every promo that's released and that we're going to, let, let's, let's quadruple it. Let's try to get a thousand, uh, whatever. I don't know if that was quadruple. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know quadruple, but I do know this. I want to have at least 2000 millionaires rolling with G Myers world in Madden 19. Will you be one of them? Let me know. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.